In this video, I show you how you can answer the question, how long is my Adobe Captivate project? Okay, let's get started here. So this is in response to a question I received from Chris. Chris asks, um, I, am, I am to give an e-learning presentation for a job interview soon. I'm going to do it on Captivate since that's the main software I'll be using. I downloaded the trial version. I know the files will be good for 30 days, so I'm going to bring those files with me to the presentation. My question to you is, number one, how do I make sure I'm not going under or over the time given uh, to, to give this presentation? And number two, am I safe, I'm assuming, in using the trial version of Captivate 9? So first off, let's actually answer question two. We'll do this out of order a bit here. Uh, the trial version, for those that aren't aware, Adobe Captivate does, in fact, Adobe offers trial versions of most of their software, Captivate 9 included. And if you go to adobe.com slash Captivate, you'll be brought to this page here, and you'll have the opportunity to download the free trial from the menu on this bar here. If I click on free trial, all you need to do is fill out a little bit of information about who you are, uh, expected time frame of when you might be ordering Adobe Captivate and so on. And uh, so, you know, a lot of good information here. You simply download and you can install. But keep in mind, it's a limited download in that you have 30 days to try out the software, 30 days to publish uh, a course and share it with maybe some stakeholders in this case. Um, and once that 30 days is gone, the not only the software will expire, but anything you've created, any project you've created with the software will also expire as well. So in this case, you certainly can use the trial version to create your project for this uh, job submission. But keep in mind that at some point that that project will cease to function. So something to keep in mind there. The first question, how do I make sure that I'm not going under over the time given to me to give this presentation? Well, for that, you need to take a look at your course. And there's a couple of things that you can do. Of course, with your course, you have the timeline along the bottom, and that gives you an idea of how long each slide appears on screen. You also have a timing tab, which will tell you your slide duration there. And that's great, but keep in mind you're, you're trying to get a simple calculation for the entire project. Um, one thing to bear in mind, though, is that you may, like myself, have slides that have no duration whatsoever or a very short duration, like one second or three seconds or something like that, an example of which would be my quiz questions. Now, the actual time it takes to complete those quiz, quiz questions can vary from learner to learner. So uh, you need to sort of build that or keep that in mind as you're coming up with this calculation. But here's what I do is that you simply go into your edit drop down menu and go down to the preferences entry. Alternatively, you can press shift F8 and that's going to bring up your preferences window. Now, what you're looking for is under the project category you're looking specifically for the information subsection. And here there's a lot of information that you would fill in, such as your author name, company, email address, website, copyright, and so on. But at the bottom here, you'll see that you've got time. And this course presently, as I'm using as an example, is a one hour, one minute, and 24.4 second long project. Uh, it's also uh, shared with you in frames as well. I'm not sure how that can be useful, um, but that might be something you need to know as well. So in this case, it's 110,531 frames. Um, some other information that appears on the screen is the resolution is 800 by 600. There are 99 slides, zero of which are actually hidden. So these are all visible. The, uh, the useful, the, why this is useful, of course, is as you're developing your course, uh, you can see that, okay, maybe I'm a little long on this part and I need to shave off, you know, a minute or two here, 
or you know you're you're greatly under the amount of time that you're uh, you're allocated for so you may want to um, you know add some extra length to uh, some areas of your project so hopefully chris that answers uh, both your questions and good luck in the upcoming uh, job interview guys if you like the videos that i'm producing for you i encourage you to subscribe to my channel and if you thought this video was useful or helpful go ahead and give me a thumbs up